It's been a chaotic few weeks, but prized mare in her time has blown away any concerns about her form, leading into the $13 million Everest. She impressed in Newcastle this morning, her first run under the guidance of trainer Chris Lees after Ben Smith's shock suspension. It's not often there's this much attention on a trial, but for inner time, her connections and Everest backers, today was a big test. Chris Lees paced the yard, while longtime hoop Corey Brown made the trip up from Sydney. What followed was pleasing, to say the least. I thought she trialled very well. Corey was happy with her. I haven't felt a feel this good since I've been riding her in the 12 months, so she's, she's on song. Out of the gate, she made her presence felt, quickly moving to the front before settling on the outside around the bend. Brown took the foot off down the straight. She was picked by a fast-finishing Eldorado Dreaming. The two Ben Smith horses now training under Lees. I got a pretty good understanding of it. It was very helpful. I had a good chat with him and the transition was pretty easy, I feel, for the horse. We won't be changing much and the plan program that they had mapped out will stay the same. Lees has been in close contact with Smith. He's doing a bit tough, understandably. You know, it's, a, it's a big shock. And, um, but... Um, you know, he's got a process to go through and got good support around him, so he'll be fine. Eldorado Dreaming was yesterday cleared to return after an irregular swab sample and will likely head to Caulfield on Sunday week. I will line up in the Premier Stakes alongside six other confirmed Everest runners. It'll be a really strong Premier Stakes, but um, certainly gives the God where we're at. In our time, may not be Lee's only Everest runner. Low Remain is well in contention for a slot. More the merrier. <laughs> Samuel Jordan, NBN News. The European Champions League is back and match day one was as entertaining as ever. Lionel Messi was at his scintillating best. And he's... To the A-League and the Newcastle Jets have announced the signing of English-born striker Kane Shepherd on a one-year contract. The 24-year-old has scored 20 goals in 26 appearances for Avondale in the Victorian NPL this season. Coach Ernie Merrick believes Shepherd is a clever player that reads the game well, makes great runs and has a strong physical presence. To golf and the Hunter Pro-Am Series move to Raymond Terrace today with Brisbane's Chris Wood shooting an 8 under par 63 to win by two strokes at the Murray course. He outclassed a host of our best local professionals. Despite the blustery conditions, the professionals were in good spirits. After grabbing second on Tuesday and Merriweather, Jake Higginbottom was one of the favourites at Muri. He's preparing for a big finish to the year, trying to secure his Asian tour card. You keep playing solid and hopefully have a few higher results than what I've been having. Um, I should be OK. Um, and then I'm going to play New South Wales Open and Australian Open. Um, so I have to play right there and wrap up my Aussie card too. Higginbottom's ultimate goal is the European Tour, but he's decided to skip qualifying school and will regroup for another attempt in 2019. His top priority at home is the Australian Open. I probably won't play the PGA this year. Um, I think I'll be in Mauritius instead. But yeah, definitely won't play well in the Aussie Open, especially with the British Open spots too. Lee McKechnie is facing a different battle after losing his Australian Tour card. He's preparing for a host of state opens, but he's no certainty to play in our biggest event. Qualify for the Australian Open, um, and then maybe Q School in December, and then just sort of go from there. If not, uh, might take a different avenue and look into uh, you know, a different line of work. After 21 years on tour, 2018 could be his last. Might stay in the golf industry, um, you know, looking at maybe a club job or working in a, a sales sort of role. Um, but for the next couple of months, certainly just uh, head down, bum up and, and play as good as I can. The Pro-Am series moves to Nelson Bay tomorrow. Newcastle Iron woman Jessica Collins' recovery from a devastating surfing accident continues to inspire. Australia's top Iron men are the latest to take up the fundraising effort, racing in a state of origin format at next month's Cool and Gatta Gold. These Iron men are usually going hammer and tong to beat each other in individual races. But at the iconic Coolangatta Gold on October 6 and 7, they'll branch out into two teams of four. Team Queensland will feature Eckstein brothers Shannon and Kane. New South Wales is headlined by Currawas, Matt Poole and Manley's Kendrick Louie. They'll race in both the short course on the Saturday and the long course on the Sunday. It's quite unique where we're doing one leg on the Saturday, but we can't do that leg again on the Sunday. So you've got to try and mix and match to, to get your best team possible. You can put absolutely everything into your leg and then, you know, hand the baton over and go, mate, 
this is yours now. It's all for a very special cause. The teams jointly plan to raise $10,000 or more for former surf star Jessica Collins. The 24-year-old suffered a serious spinal injury while surfing at Snapper Rocks earlier this year. Every dollar raised will be matched by Shaw and Partners Financial Services. When that sort of accident happened, um, it sort of hit home to a lot of us surf life saving guys, especially, you know, she had everything ahead of her competing so well. John Monique Cloud in NBN News. Yeah, it's definitely a very worthy cause. It is indeed. Thanks. Thank you, Mitch. Stay with us for the weather next with Gav. In children's wards and emergency, mandated nurse to patient ratios do not exist in country hospitals. Our hospitals need safe nurse to patient ratios on every ward, every shift, every country hospital. Authorised by B Homes New South Wales Nurses and Midwives Association. How do you make vegetables? You need texture and colour and plenty of zinc. Just a combination of random things. You need sweet, spicy, something real hot, add a dozen of these or whatever you got, add this, add that, and all the regalia. It's Vegemite, tastes like Australia. My dentist and enamel should great on the outside and on the inside. GoPro with Oral B Pro Health. It's formulated with active strength technology that strengthens enamel on the inside. Plus, it protects the outside better than Colgate Total. GoPro with Oral B Pro Health. Water is a valuable resource. I work with local businesses to help them find ways to use every drop wisely. We also do little things around the house to make a big difference to our water usage. Love water, it belongs to all of us. You've got huge energy bills. An air conditioner can be one of the most expensive appliances in your home. Save up to 22% energy usage on your air conditioner. Book an air conditioner clean from ElectroDry. Try, try, ElectroDry, ElectroDry. <laughs> of spring into your home with fresh new flooring and lightweight blinds from Carpet Court. They'll refresh your whole home and relax with big savings across the flooring range. Get inspired. Start your style journey at Carpet Court. I am here Respite House is an NDIS approved provider of 24-7 disability respite care for children and adults. So if you need disability respite, call us now or visit iamhere.org.au. Introducing Hyundai's small SUV, Kona. Now with satellite navigation, head up display and Hyundai Smart Sense Safety. See your rural Hyundai dealer today. We go the distance. We cover the ground. To office, this is your journey and we're driven for growth. We're part of the fabric, part of the future. Proven in performance. With Offsafe Super, we're with you all the way. Because your tomorrow starts today. Offsafe Super, the industry super fund for rural and regional Australia. Spring Super Sale on now at Godfrey's. Hoover Corner Stick Packs less than half price, just one twenty nine. Hoover Pets Bagless was one ninety nine, now ninety seven. Steel Mops half price now seventy four dollars. And Carver Shampoo is a red hot ninety three. Spring Super Sale, but only at Godfrey's. Time for the weather now, and Gav, there's a change on its way. Yes, that's right. A southerly will be moving through tonight. That's going to cool the situation. It's causing a little bit of rain around this location, just near Gloucester, the Buckets Way, some beautiful mountains there, just one of my favourite parts of the world. Beautiful sunrise photo, a little mist there, the colour of the rocks contrasting with the greenery and nice to have a little rain. Sadly though, it didn't hit the hunter. Very little from this system, in fact, even for Victoria. So that's the cloud that we saw move in this afternoon.
Dobris, as expected, said that last night, likely to jump over us, but the mountains, they're gathering a little bit of moisture from this as it tracks towards Seal Rocks and around Foster. That whole system there is moving towards northern New South Wales, where it's very balmy this evening. The colder air is tracking up the coast, and the southerly will be pushing through soon, and uh, tomorrow we'll have a burst of showers pushed through during the morning, and then it's going to track northward and clear. Big blocking high yet again on the eastern side. It's chillier on the western side. It gets hotter, so the heat headed towards Perth and the west. Uh, 25, so it's starting to warm up there. It's cool in the Alice, cool throughout the southeast behind the change. The same for Sydney. Brisbane's going to warm up fast, but the afternoon is going to be quite cool because the southerly will move across Brisbane and the suburban areas at around about lunchtime. We cracked some 30s today around Singleton, Cessnock, high 20s elsewhere. Certainly was warm, a real taste of the up and coming season, that's for sure. It's also 30 around Dungog. Uh, the humidity is low, the westerlies are still with us, and um, it's still quite warm at the moment. And um, it's still quite warm at the moment and uh, very dry as well. But overnight now, well, in a, the next couple of hours, we'll have that uh, southerly move through and then it's going to chill things down and uh, it'll be much colder overnight uh, tomorrow morning. Then the winds will move around to the south southeast. And as they do that, they'll uh, create a burst of showers, mostly around Nelson Bay, Seal Rocks. We might see a little bit there gather around uh, the foothills of the Barringtons yet again. But overall, the majority of the region is going to have very little rain from this system again. So not enough to saturate the soil. It's going to be much colder. So, yeah, yeah you'll have to dress a little differently than how you did today because there's a bit of a wind chill factor in there too. So it is going to be a little bit cool and cloudy. The burst of showers moving through and uh, clearing, but uh, yeah, not much on offer rain-wise yet again. Sad, same old story. Uh, no rain whatsoever for the upper hunter, not a drop. There could be a snow flurry. It's so cold overnight, actually, uh, over the Barringtons. But uh, yeah, very limited uh, amounts of snow up there, if anything at all. Uh, for Singleton, uh, might get a drop, but uh, yeah, not much for that region either. Uh, a floor. Uh, swell, not much of that. It's going to be quite small, getting really choppy though with that southerly wind. Uh, so we've got a, a strong wind warning that's been issued. Tomorrow morning, big high, 5.15, working to the low at about 20 to 11. Sun's up at quarter to six, down at about 10 to six. Beautiful moon phase on the way. And uh, that sun up nice and early, leading up to daylight saving for Sunday of October. Warming up for the weekend, next change comes through on Sunday. A cool start to next week. It's a bit like uh, tonight's system, in fact, very similar. Uh, with nothing on offer for the upper hunter again. Surfers, very small conditions today, but the beach was inviting and it was, well, fun. Uh, a little small ones out there to play in, uh, but it's more about having a little bit of a dip and freshening up in the cool water. But, uh, yeah, much cooler. Different story along the coast throughout tomorrow. Thank you, Gav, and that's our bulletin for this evening. The Today Show will have the latest headlines from 5.30 tomorrow morning. From all of us here, good night. Good night.